All right. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to day one of winter, winter term in 2021. As I mentioned this morning, hopefully 2020 will be, or 2021 will be a little better than 2020. I think we, yeah, we, we got a few things that we didn't order, I think, in 2020. So, yeah. How are you feeling about 2021? Optimistic? Kind of? Not bad? Even though there have been some crazy events in the first couple weeks of 2021, hopefully hopefully things will work out okay, maybe. Um, <clears throat> yeah, so welcome to, <clears throat> welcome to day one. This is Comparative Cultures, as the card said. My name is Mike. I'll be your instructor for this class. I have been an instructor here at Columbia College for about five and a half years. Uh, I teach social justice before this, as some of you clearly know. Um, I teach this class. I teach History 12. Sometimes I teach anthropology at university level. Um, um, I've taught a few other things as well. Um, but what I said this morning to my students in social justice is that um, and I'm biased in saying this, but you've landed a, at a good place. This is, a, I think, a good place to be. There's a lot of people who work here that are very diligent and caring and um, put a lot of work into the college and um, care very much for the students. And so I think you've, you've wound up in a good place if you're new here. And <laughs> if you're not new here, you, you know I'm lying. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, just so you understand what's happening here with the screen thing, um, we will have students who are overseas uh, or who are just not in Vancouver. Some of them might be um, some of them might be quarantining at the moment, and so I am live streaming this on YouTube as we speak. And so everything that you see on the screen here is what people on the YouTube channel will see and hear. Um, in terms of you speaking in class, which hopefully you will, um, I don't think my microphone will pick up what you say. And so for that reason, you don't have to panic that, you know, you're, you're not, you know, if you say something in this class, you're not broadcasting it to the internet. Uh, people probably won't hear you. But for the people who are online, I will kind of summarize what you said so that they're still in, in the conversation. Um, so... That's how that'll work. And of course, all of, these, all of these classes will go up on YouTube as we do them. And so, you know, if you miss something or want to hear something again, you can always go back to it. Um, for online people, yeah, the, the, you, you'll be able to watch these classes again if you want. Um, and also, as you've already discovered, of course, you have a, a live chat feature in, in YouTube. So with that live chat, um, you can say things to me like, good morning. Um, but I can also put them up on the screen here. And so <clears throat> if you have a question that you want to ask or if you have something that you want to say or an answer to a question, you can put it up on the screen and I can show it to the class. And so we can kind of connect ourselves that way. I know it's not, <clears throat> it's not perfect or not ideal, but it's a workable solution, right? And, <clears throat> and that, that, that kind of works, right? Yeah. That's worked before. Give or take. Yeah, but like, we did not get that chance to say a word with our normal language. Yeah. So you have a lot to say. <laughs> you have a lot to say. Have you, you've kept it all yes. from our last class, and now you're going to say everything, yeah. all the things. I'm okay with that. Um, <clears throat> yeah, so that's, that's, how that, that's how that can work. Um, yeah, okay, let's, um, let's dive in here. So uh, I just need to do this. That's what I want. OK, so really what, what, we'll do, what we'll do today is we'll just kind of go over what the class is about. We'll talk about the syllabus. The syllabus is posted on um, Student Portal and Microsoft Teams, uh, which is where I'll post basically everything from this class. And so all of the live streams of these classes will be automatically posted to YouTube. So like I said, you can watch them again. All my lecture slides will be posted for you. Any readings I give you will be posted in uh, Microsoft Teams. Um, 
yeah, so you'll have everything. Everything, everything that happens in this room, you will have a copy of, OK? Um, right, so this class is a little on the new side. Um, it, used to be, it used to be called Comparative Civilizations, and so it was a little bit different than it currently is. Um, but I've <clears throat> sort of kept, I, I sort of kept the ancient history part of this course. And so some of the cultures that we'll talk about are, are indeed ancient ones. Um, but we'll also, I, I think what's kind of interesting about those is learning about how those kind of earlier cultures operated and then kind of using them to understand how our own culture operates. Um, and I'm a little biased here, but um, I, I really find ancient history interesting, and so I want to talk about it. <laughs> and so, so I put it into this. I put it into this class so that so that we could. Um, so yeah, we'll we'll talk a little bit in this class about what culture is and how it works and how we can understand it, and then we'll talk about how how cultures kind of operate and change, how they're influenced by the environment, um, how, they're, how cultures are influenced by technological or economic or political developments. Um, yeah, I, this is going to be a really interesting class, I think, anyway. Again, I'm a little bit biased, but I, I, I think it's going to be cool. Um, we have a textbook for this class, and it's called... Um, it's called World History to 1500. And so it's in PDF, and I have, I think, put it into Microsoft Teams. Uh, if I haven't, I will put it there. I'm pretty sure I did, though. Uh, so you'll have that textbook. You can download it, and you can keep it on your phone or your computer or whatever you like. And so it, it'll be easy for you to read when it comes time to read. Um, it's a reasonably, I think it's meant for, the, the textbook is meant for kind of a first year university thing. And so when I took, <clears throat> when I went to university, I took something called Classics 110. And we had a very similar textbook to this one. So it's kind of, it's kind of like that, but we'll use it. It should be very readable for you guys. Like the, the reading level is, is pretty good. So it, it should be an easy read and hopefully interesting. I might provide you with some other stuff too as we go forward, articles. I have some videos and things to show you. And so, yeah, there'll, there'll be stuff, but ev everything will be, Posted for you so that you so that you have it. Uh, there is not unless you want to print it. I, I'm not even sure if it exists in hard copy. I think it's just an electronic resource. I think, um, but I have no I have no hard copies of it. Um, are you a are you a book kind of guy? No, but like if you use like electronics here, I can check out things. Mm. You don't know what's behind no, the screen? Like you don't know what's behind oh, the screen. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's true. But that's where, that's where I have to trust you. I trust you, Bob. <laughs> so um, it's true. But, <clears throat> you know, that's something we kind of can't get around. We've, <clears throat> um, yeah, we, we need to rely on our technology to get through this. So, um, there's a bunch of learning outcomes that we're supposed to tackle in this course as per the ministry, and we will do those. Basically, what they come down to is critical thinking. Can you, can you find information? Can you understand it and process it? Can you make clear arguments? Can you assess other people's arguments? Can you understand patterns in, in data and in history and how cultures operate? And so... Um, I won't go through each one of these, but they're kind of more specific versions of, of those kind of skills. And what I said this morning, and, and you may or may not agree with me on this, is that you know, I think these are important skills. And as time goes on, I think they become more and more important. I think you know, 100 years ago, if you, you know, couldn't think critically, I don't think it hurt you that much. I think you know, it was a simpler world. Jobs were simpler, life was simpler, and so yeah, if, if you weren't a good critical thinker, I don't think it hurt you very much. But I think nowadays it it does. And and again, sorry, United States, but I'm going to point to what's happening 
you know, in their sort of current social political state. And I kind of see that as a real failure of critical thinking, right? A real failure of being able to <clears throat> take something that someone is trying to get you to believe, like President Trump's claim that there was massive voter fraud and the election was stolen from them. And people seem to lack the ability to sit down and say, you know, okay, is this a, should we believe this? Is, is this a reliable claim? And of course, what we've seen is it's not, right? There's no evidence to suggest that there was voter fraud. In fact, there's lots of evidence to suggest that there actually wasn't any and that it was a very secure election. And yet, there are millions and millions of people who believe it anyway and believe it to the point where they will storm the halls of Congress and the Senate, you know, armed to do something. I'm not sure that they knew what they were going to do when they got there, but they believed it so strongly that they did that thing. And so, you know, I think there's a real breakdown in the ability to really be able to determine what you should believe and what you shouldn't, right? And what's a what's good information and what's really not. And so I think courses like this are, are very important because again, you know, math and science and technology are very important um, disciplines in our sort of modern technological world. But I think, you know, the events of last week in the United States show us what happens when, you know, you don't have the other skills to back it up, right? The, the, the ability to understand and think critically about you know, what's happening in the world and society. So maybe this course will contribute a little bit to that. Um, there's some core competencies as well um, that may come up. We'll, you know, we'll talk about communication in terms of our writing for sure. We'll talk about thinking in terms of our critical thinking for sure. And we'll kind of try to weave this personal and social competency through here too. And this is um, talking about your kind of your identity in the world and who you are and how you relate to the world around you. And that may not make a lot of sense now, but maybe it will. Maybe it will later. Um, in terms of evaluation, um, we'll start with attendance here. So the, the policy that we've arrived at for this term is that if you are in Vancouver and you're not sick, and you're not in quarantine, then you're expected to be here in class, okay? Um, if you are not here in Vancouver, of course, you're online. And so uh, I, can, I will mark your attendance by looking around me every day and seeing your smiling faces and being able to check you off. If you're online, um, of course, I will only know if you're there if you actually say something. So when I say good morning, which I often do, that's my normal thing, uh, you know, if you say good morning back, then at least I know that, yeah, Muhammad's here. Right? If, you don't, if you don't put anything in the live chat, I have no idea if you're watching or not. So um, yeah, please, please do that and then I, I will know that you are here. Um, we'll have quizzes, we'll have four of them. Um, if you're in class here, if you're in Vancouver, it'll just be a simple paper that I'll hand you out. I'll give you five questions and you'll answer them as best you can for me. If you're online, we'll do um, a Microsoft Teams chat and we'll do an oral quiz. Uh, and so I'll ask you a few questions and you'll explain as best as you can. Yeah, it's, um, it's not perfect. I know, you know, I'm kind of testing you in two different ways, but it's kind of the most, it's kind of the easiest way to get it done. And, and I am aware that it's not the same thing. So I kind of mark it accordingly. We'll have three of these little micro papers to do. And if you don't know what a micro paper is, it's because I think I invented it. Maybe should I should I trademark it? Sure. Yeah, that yeah. If I if I copyright it, then every time somebody writes a micro paper, I get like twenty five cents. Ooh, hang on, hang on. I gotta send a few emails here. No, um, <laughs> I don't think it works that way. No, no, no. Um, I I think I invented it. I came up with the term like earlier last year, like. April or May or something like that. Maybe. Well, I think I think I I get the credit because I invented it. You write the paper and then I get the money. 
<laughs> so do you want a cut? You want a percentage? Of, of my 25%? Yeah. I'll think about it. <laughs> um, okay, the, anyway, these, these little micro papers, they're just a tiny little baby paper. So I want you to do a research paper, but I don't want you to do a big thing. So the micro papers are about a page and a half. And my working theory here is that if you can write a good short paper, you can write a good long paper. The long paper is just more work. But if you can do the small version, you can do the long version. So I'm going to ask you to do three of these short papers. Again, they're about a page and a half. You will f do some research and find an article or two to use to help write it. And then you will kind of make an argument. And I'll walk you through all the kind of steps of that a little bit later. But as I say, there's three of them. I'll assign them kind of as we go. And they're about a page and a, they're about a, page and a half or so. Um, 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 yeah, and then there's a final paper, of course, which uh, is basically a bigger version of the micro paper. So it's a not, it's a not so baby paper, um, but it takes the place of the final exam. So we don't have a midterm or a final in this class. We just kind of write. And I think at first it was my attempt to uh, kind of like minimize, like. It's hard to give an exam online because you never know if people are cheating or not, you know, so it's kind of hard to do. Um, so I, I started doing papers as a way to combat that. Um, but actually, I think it's better for us. I think it's a, it's, it, it, it builds more skills if we, can, if we can write something rather than just do a test. Um, because there's not that many tests in real life anyway. Yeah, so... <laughs> I haven't taken one since I left school, so maybe the writing is a better, it's a better skill to learn, maybe. Um, yeah, so that, we'll do that. It'll take the place of a final exam. Um, attendance, now, again, the policy for this term, and I think you've heard it already, if you are sick, so if you wake up in the morning and you're like, uh, uh, I don't feel good, um, your first email should be to Deborah and Nav, right? So. They have a, an email address, I think NCA, North Campus Administration, something like that. So you'll send an email to them. You can, you can send an email to me as well, uh, although Deborah and Nav will let me know as well. But in a pandemic situation, we want to make sure that we know who's, you know who's sick and why they're sick and where they are. So Deborah and Nav will kind of keep track of that. They'll let um, the school nurse know if she needs to know. They'll let me know. But Deborah and Nav are kind of the, if you're sick, that's who you need to talk to. Um, if it's a regular day, I kind of expect you to be here. If you're in class normally and you sleep in, oops, sometimes that happens. Um, I will mark you absent if you're not here, but do tune into the, the YouTube class anyway, because there's no, there's no point in missing class, right? So if you wake up a little late and you can't get here, bad, 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 but still watch the, still watch the YouTube um, class, because that makes sense. So yeah, uh, you shouldn't miss anything. If you miss something like a, an assignment hand in or a quiz or something, uh, I need a good excuse for it, like a doctor's note or something like that. Um, otherwise, I give you zero. That's kind of how those things go, unfortunately. Um, We'll talk about this a little bit more later. Um, there's always some cheating and plagiarism that's going on at the college. Um, most of it we are aware of. Um, don't do it. <laughs> um, a, it's you know, a, it's wrong, and we'll talk about why it's wrong later. Um, but I will, I will talk a little bit later in this class about kind of what plagiarism is and how to avoid it because I know that some students don't kind of understand what it is um, and depending on the country you've come from different countries have kind of different ideas of what what cheating is and what cheating isn't and so my goal here is to kind of set you up so that you know just so you know what you're doing and you can you know you can avoid you know you can avoid you know don't cheat but you don't want to cheat by accident either, right? That's, 
that stinks. So I'll try to help you make sure so that you don't cheat by accident because that, yeah. At least if you're going to cheat, do it on purpose, right? But <laughs> no, don't, don't cheat at all. Um, yeah, so we'll, we'll talk a little bit more about that as we, as we move on. I've got a, a, a few things to say about that. Um, there's a classroom code of conduct in the syllabus. Um, I don't need to go over it because all of our students are very well behaved. What I said this morning is if you want to eat and drink in here, it's okay. I know you're busy people and you get hungry. You know, just don't make a, don't make a mess. And if you make a mess, clean it up. Um, and you know, nothing too smelly. I said this morning, if you come in here with microwaved fish first thing in the morning, you won't make any friends. So <laughs> don't, don't do that. But you know, if you have to eat, it's okay. It doesn't bother me. Um, cell phones, um, I said this morning to my class to the, the best thing you can do for yourself is put your phone on vibrate and put it in your bag because they're, I think we all know they are very distracting. Um, but that said, I'm, I'm okay if you just leave it on your desk because sometimes, you know, you get a message and you're like, oh yeah, okay. And I'm cool with that. You know, if you're sitting in the back row, like watching a movie on, you know, your phone, that's no good. That's a no-no. Um, but I know how they're addictive, right? They're very difficult not to look at, and I am guilty of this as well. So I get it. If you are able to put it away and do that, I think it will help you. It'll help you in this class. It'll help you pay attention better. If you absolutely cannot do that, it's okay if it's on your desk, but you know, just like quick, quick looks and like, oh yeah, okay. And then back in. But as long as you don't make it an issue, it's not an issue for me. Um, email, yeah, make, you, make sure you check your email at the college. You all have a college email. Um, you can also email me or message me on Teams if you need me. Um, actually, that's something I didn't mention to my class this morning. Um, I, I, I didn't schedule any office hours. Um, I used to, but most people don't come to see me in office hours very often, particularly because I see you guys every, every day. So if you have a question, you can always ask me. But if you need to talk about an assignment or you're confused about something or whatever, we can set an appointment. I will make time for you. It's not an issue. Uh, I just didn't schedule anything because Usually I schedule time and I sit there and nobody comes and then I go home. So, <laughs> um, so I'm not going to schedule any time where I'm just sitting there waiting for students to show up. But if you need to talk to me, let me know. Send me a message. I will, we'll sort it out. I, I have time for you. Okay. Um, 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 um. Yeah, if you're here in the college, we have safety drills, fire drills, and so on, and I'll tell you about those when they happen. I don't really know what the dates are for those. Um, ah, and that brings me to this. Okay, did I miss anything? I think I got it. Okay, so what I'd like to do now is, I'm not going to keep you for the whole class today because again it's the first day we don't want to strain ourselves right we don't want to we just want to ease in you know if you're if you're getting into a cold lake you don't want to just throw yourself in right you want to just walk in slowly so we're going to walk in slowly um, I would like it if you if we just went around and you could sort of quickly introduce yourself to me some of you I know from previous classes some of you I know from previous from, from this morning, <laughs> but um, some of you I don't know, and so I would like to, I would like to meet you. Um, so yeah, maybe just tell me your name, the, the name you would like me to call you, and um, yeah, and if you know if, if it's your first term here or second or whatever, um, yeah, and, and anything else you might want to say. So maybe we'll start with you, unknown, unknown gentleman. Who might you be? Huh? Am I unknown? No, you're not unknown. Uh, my name is Baha. You can call me Mr. Baha. Mr. Baha. Yeah. You've added the Mr. since... Uh, no, I actually like, earned it. It's always... You earned it? Interesting. How, how did you... 
Oh, I see. Okay, so you're 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 you you you've, you've got your business under control, and so you've adopted, you've earned the Mister. All right, I see. I can I can roll with that. Um, how was your how was your break? Working. Were you working? Yeah. Where were you working? I'm a mechanic. I bought a car. I'm fixing it. Oh, how's that going? Yesterday I finished it. You finished the car? Yesterday. The entire car? No, like I mean, like finished fixing it. Oh, okay. What was wrong? It was oil leak. Oh, oil leak. Where was it leaking from? Oil cooling mount. Oh, okay. So is there, a, is there a gasket you had to pull it off and redo the gasket? Actually, the car is it's famous for oil leaking. What kind of car is it? What is it? BMW. Oh, it's a BMW. Yeah. Fancy. Fancy pants. It's all about the capability. Yeah. Like that, yeah. Nice. So, so it's, it's ready to go now? Yep. Nice. Look at you. Look at you, Mr. Mechanic. OK, if I have any car issues, I'm coming to you. I'm coming to Mr. I'm going to Mr. Baja. Yeah. Competitive rates? Of course. <laughs> okay. Okay. I'll, uh, I, 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 I know how to reach you. Very nice to meet you again. Nicholas? Good morning, Nicholas. Yes? Um, first term here? Nope. Fifth? Fifth? Wow. Wow. How's it going? Normal? If you could describe Columbia College in one word. Don't say normal. <laughs> and no bad words, please. Yeah, it, it is definitely, it is definitely that. Um, yeah, which, which I like, which is, yeah, I, I really, I really enjoy that. And you're from Vietnam originally? No, Philippines, 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 sorry. First day. I got a lot to remember on the first day. Um, yeah. Um, anything else we should know about you, Mr. Nicholas? If you want to tell me something. Okay. <laughs> okay. Glad you're here. Um, Blake? Hello. Cool. How are you feeling so far? Yeah? yeah. Awesome. Yeah. I like your excitement. Thank you. Um, who are you? Michelle. You're who? Michelle. Michelle? Hello, Michelle. Yeah. Is this your first term with us? Yeah. yeah? And you're from? China. You're from China, yeah. Mm -hmm. Did you come here recently, or have you been here for a while? Or? Second term. Oh, second term? OK. Um, what is, what's the thing you like about Vancouver the most? Oh, what's that? Sorry? You, nothing? Okay, you're so, you're so quiet. You're so quiet. That's okay. Um, it's, it's lovely to have you here, Michelle. Thanks for being here. Nice to meet you. Um, you miss? Uh, my name is Victoria. Victoria? Okay, and where, where have you come to us from? Uh, from Italy. From Italy? Yeah. Oh, interesting. Where in Italy? I'm Italian. I speak half Italian, but I live in Vienna. Oh. Okay. Yeah, um, Italy is definitely on my list of places to go, as I assume it, it is for most people. Um, yeah, that's cool. Um, how, how, do you like, how do you like Vancouver? Do you? Yeah. Okay. There'll be there'll be some more of that for the next little while. But it but it will get sunny and beautiful. But it will rain again. But it will rain again. But yeah. You you don't have to shovel rain like you do snow. So I'm okay with it. Um ah, back corner. Hello Sophie. How are you? Yeah, are you just chilling back there? Yeah. Yeah. Um Sophie, where are you from? Mm -hmm. And you said this was your third or fourth term with us? Fourth. Fourth. Yeah, it's still good? Still enjoying it? Yeah. It was better before, wasn't it? Yeah. When we were over there across the street? 
Yeah, un unfortunately, you guys are kind of missing out because we had, it was really cool. Across, we were across the street there. We had our own floor and there was lots of students and it was kind of, yeah, it was like a school and it felt like a nice community. And here it's, you know, it's kind of just a few of us in a big empty building and it feels, it feels weird. Yeah, it feels weird. And it's, it's quite sad, unfortunately, that we're not able to be there, but we're hoping, we're hoping we can go over there maybe in September, maybe in September we could be back, which would be really nice, but yeah, still a long way away, but fingers, fingers crossed because we do have, because we have our own space over there and it was, it was better. It was better. Um, anyway, Sophie, we're glad you're here. Um, you, sir, in the back? It, Noah? Okay. Hello, Noah. How are you? Yeah? Yeah? First term with us or? Your fifth term. And how's it going? <laughs> yeah? Okay. You know, we're in a pandemic, but yeah, everything's good. Okay, cool. Nice to have you, Noah. Nice to meet you. Who might you be, sir? Basel. Basel. And Basel, where, are you? where do you come to us from? I live in Kuwait, but I'm Sudanese. Cool. Um, what's, the, what's the best thing about living in Kuwait? Uh, everything is close to you. Oh, okay. All around Kuwait in two hours. How many, um, like the country? How many people live in, in Kuwait? I don't know. Oh. Not that much? I guess it's a lot smaller than I thought. It's much smaller. Yeah. Like Kuwait, only 10% is Kuwait. Only 10% is? Kuwait. Oh, okay. 90% is only Kuwait. Right. So you just got everybody tightly yeah. packed in there? Yeah. That's cool. I bet it's, yeah, and, and it's right on the Persian Gulf, so is it really humid as well? What's that? Persian, uh, Iran, Iran. Yeah. Right, right, right. Hmm. Okay, nice to have you here, my friend. Yes, you are. Right. Was um, it was the it was the term before last that you were in my class, right? Yeah. 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 And uh, so this is your this is your last term probably. Yeah. And then where will you go? I haven't decided yet. Hmm. It's okay. It's a tough choice. Um, uh, how's things in Hong Kong? Still pretty. Pretty so so. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's been, um, reading, reading the news has been a little scary, a little scary. Um, but we're glad, we're glad you're here. And it's nice to have you here in person. It was, it was nice to have, you know, to have you there virtually, but yeah, it's nice to have you in the room. Um, and online, I, I'll talk to, I'll talk to, um, I'll talk to you online people maybe when we have a quiz, but I see Muhammad's here. And so, uh, Hello, Mohammed, and uh, I'm not sure. I'm not sure um, how your name is pronounced, and I don't know. Do, do you want me to call you? What do you want me to? How do you want me to refer to you? What name do you want me to use? If you let me know, then I'll I'll use that. Oh, Sarah. Oh, Sarah. Were you, you were in my class from this morning? Is that correct? Yeah. Oh, okay. Same, Sarah. Okay. So, hello again, Sarah. I'm sorry about that. Um, it's tough to learn people's names, especially when they're not in the room. So we have Sarah and Muhammad online. We have Ivan and Basil and Michelle and Victoria and Noah and Sophie and Nicholas and Baha and Blake. Right? What's that? Oh, Mr. Baha. Sorry. That's going to take a while for me to remember, but I'll, you just keep correcting me and I'll, I'll nail it. Um, okay. So, I think that's all I have for you this morning, but 
Would you like to ask me any questions while we are here? Or was there anything you would like to say or inquire about? Yes. Is it, sim is it similar? In what way? Probably, but... Uh, well, well, I kind of go about things in the same way. You know, I kind of do things the same way. So, yeah, it's different material, but I'm... Yeah, it'll, it'll probably go it'll probably go the same, the same way you're used to, for better or for worse. <laughs> um, okay, any, any other questions? Thank you for your question, Mr. Ba. That is it. Okay, so I will, um, I'll let you go then. Uh, and online people, I'll let you go too. And I'll see you tomorrow at 10.05 and we will start talking about human culture. Interesting. I can't wait. So we're not going to talk about like religion? No. Um, let me see. Because the first thing is like we talk about the age of Islam. Y it, it's interesting because I, um, I have some material on indigenous people. And I think last time I taught this course, I actually didn't have enough time to squeeze it in. Uh, or maybe I did. I got to recheck because I've only taught this version of comparative cultures once because it was, it was originally something else. It was comparative civilizations. And then I changed it to something new. But I've only taught the new thing once. I don't quite remember what I did. Um, I think it, it would be useful if we did talk about that. Or, or are, you, are you saying, like, oh, I'm tired of hearing about that? No, not okay. totally. If it was the same topic, yeah, kind of. But if it, I like to learn more about new things and perspectives. Yeah. It, um, yeah, let me, let me get back to you and see if, it's, if, it's, um, if I've included it somewhere. I think I have. I think I have. But, um, yeah, I'll have to review my notes and see what on earth I did last time, because it's a little fuzzy. One time I said good morning in the camp, and I slept. I woke up in the comparative culture. <laughs> I can't be talking about like, indigenous or something like that. Oh, OK. OK. Well, you know, sometimes there's a little bit of overlap. Um, yeah. Any other questions? Seeing none, I think I will adjourn the class. So that is it for today, my friends. Uh, come back tomorrow at 10.05 and we'll do some real work. Okay? All right. Bye, people.